Hello, my family. I have some blessings that I want to share with you guys tonight. Um, on the night of November 30th, the Lord blessed me with so many dreams about judgment and judging in his kingdom and um, possessing uh, power and authority and, and, and ruling and just so many things on this subject. Um, that if I had any doubt about that, uh, there there would be no possible way I could doubt that anymore. So, I want to share that with you guys tonight. Um, and I also have a very important message uh, that I want to get out first before I go into the rest of the dreams. So, I was laying down in bed that night and I was actually praying. Um, well, I was thinking... And, and and the Lord came upon me. The Spirit came upon me, and I had a a, a thought, or I I just felt that if if it was if there was any time for me to to ask a question or um or if I had a question on my heart at that moment that I should ask right then. So. So I felt that um the Lord was was in or I was in the presence of of the Lord at that moment. So so it was probably the best time to ask. So what came upon my heart was I was thinking about how everybody how so many people keep saying keep reporting that the Lord has told them that we are leaving before the end of this year and so I said you know what this is probably the best time right now to go to the Lord about that so I asked him I said Lord will we be leaving before the end of this year and I said I don't need to know a day I don't need to know an hour I just it I just want to know so that I would know if what people keep saying is right or wrong. And I said, if it was right, it would match up with whatever he told me. And then as I said that, I started to fall asleep. And I went into a dream or a vision, whatever. But I saw, I heard error. That is, I clearly, it was clear as day I heard error and I even saw I saw the word in like in front of me error and then I heard and then I saw myself talking and I said I heard I said that people error all the time and then I woke up after I started realizing like coming to and realizing what I was hearing what I was seeing and then I realized that I this this happened directly after I asked this question. So there's no doubt in my mind. You cannot get any clearer than that. That what the Lord showed me and told me is that it is error. Believing that we are going to be leaving before um, January 20, uh, 2017. That's what he said. That's error. So... And I, I might be the bearer of bad news on that one, but I, I can't have my brothers and sisters walking in error. And and I'm not saying this from myself, from my own opinion or anything like that. I'm telling you this is no lie. I'm giving you truth that I I prayed about this, and this is what I got an answer from the Lord. So you take that to the Lord yourself, and whatever he tells you is between you and him. So anyway... Let's get to the rest of the dreams. So, um, so this first dream I had, I was asking, or or no 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 no, let me let me go back. I was asked to be a juror in a court case, and I was in this government place, and I was reading over the information on the case on this this sheet of paper, this um uh, this packet of paper, and then I noticed that the people started to come in for the case and the person who swears us in walked in with the group 
and everybody immediately uh, lifted up their um, left hands to be sworn in. So I was looking around at everybody lifting up their, their left hand because at first I lifted up my right hand and I saw everybody else was lifting up their left hand. So I was like, well, maybe I should lift up my left hand. So I lifted up my left hand and then I knew that um, like this, this knowledge came upon me and I knew that the reason why we lifted up our left hands was because it was the, it was closest to our hearts. Um, then I was outside, it changed and I was outside of the room and I knew a group of us were about to leave. Uh, we were about to go somewhere and one of the mothers, um, of the people that were leaving w was crying about it. Like I could, I saw her crying and, and then I saw that she was tearing from both eyes. And for some reason, I thought it was like amazing that she was crying from both eyes. Like it was unusual or something. And one of the guys had said that she wouldn't be able to wrap her head around it. Then, um, I knew that she was crying because her daughter was, because she knew her daughter was growing up. And because we were leaving for a while to go stay somewhere else. I saw her daughter and her daughter's hair was dyed royal blue. It was the, the color royal blue. And her daughter said she was going through a phase and that there would be more phases. Then it changed and I was outside, like outside, outside of the whole building. And I was standing on, on a track, like a, a high school track and field track. And I was watching people run by and I saw it was fall. I knew it was fall because I saw that there were brown leaves on the ground. And then I saw that we were moving, like it changed again and we were inside this house. Um, like the foyer area and I saw that the the area the um the house had these these beautiful brown wood floors <clears throat> and I was thinking um in my head that this isn't the house that we had bought because right now me and my wife were um we're, we're looking for a house to um because right now we're renting but we're looking to buy a house so anyway um I was thinking this isn't the house that we bought and um and then and I, I saw that we were unpacking something. Um like we were taking it out of like the saran wrap. So so that was the first dream about um judgment and I believe it has to do with um with the hundred and forty four thousand leaving to be redeemed to, to go train. And then to come back and, and minister and doing all, all the things that we're going to be um, in position to do. And uh, about, it was about um, being given to judge in God's kingdom as I was in that, asked to be a juror in, the, in that court case. And, um, and I was looking over the information on the case and we were sworn in. So this is, I believe this has to do with us swearing allegiance and, um, you know, being about to, to go on our case, on our cases to do our, our, our assignments, our given assignments. So, so then the next dream I heard, I, I was given a word and I heard in this dream, my attorney has a new judgment. So if you don't know, our attorney is Jesus. And so I don't know what this new judgment is, but I clearly heard my attorney has a new judgment. So I haven't really prayed about that one yet, but um, I'm definitely going to, and you guys should do so as well. So then I had another dream, but it was really long and... I don't know if I really want to share that dream yet, so I'm going to leave that one out for now. So anyway, um, then I saw, I had another dream and I was, I saw myself and I, and I, I saw that I was entering a code like a, like if you, if you've ever seen like a, um, 
like a security system on a door and you have to put in type in the code to get in I was putting in a code onto this this uh, number pad or something like that and um and I knew right like I knew I had to put this code in and then I heard leader like I heard I heard I either heard leader or leadership one or the other so that was another confirmation for myself um of what the Lord's been telling me that uh he he's he's leading me to he's guiding me to and teaching me about leadership um which is funny because like naturally um for the longest time I was always really scared about le of of leadership like I just never wanted to be a leader um like I mean I'm not a follower either but I never wanted to be to to be in the position of leadership because I just felt like it was too much res responsibility but um I don't feel that way anymore. Uh, the Lord has given me uh, courage in that in that area, and um, and He's been teaching me a lot about that and guiding me on that. So, so anyway, um, so this next dream, I was looking up at this cathedral ceiling, and um, it had these paintings on it, like like you see at the Sistine Chapel. Or um, many other um, uh, places like that, and in the center was like an oval. It was like an oval shape, and um, and and you know that this the ceiling went up in like a, a arch, like a um, a dome shape, and then um, and then I saw the center opened. And a French, like these French doors, it looked like French doors or like the doors you see on, on a on a, a old like cathedral church, like these doors opened up like, and as these, it was like a domino effect. After those doors opened up, another pair of doors came out and opened up and then another pair of doors came out and opened up and then another pair of doors came out and opened up and they went real fast, just like dominoes. It was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. And um, and then immediately I knew exactly what that meant. Um, and um, so the Lord gave me word or uh, some scripture on that. Um, oh yeah, and after after I saw the doors open, for some reason I heard the song or the lyrics, um, of this song, "How Far the East Is from the West." Like I started hearing that song, so. And I know what that song's about, so I'm not really sure why, how that goes together. But, but uh, the Lord gave me some scripture on uh, these doors, and uh, so Psalm seventy-eight twenty-three says, "Yet He gave a command to the skies above, and opened the doors of the heavens." And then Psalm twenty-four three to ten says, "Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord?" Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart. Who, who, sorry, let me read this over. Um, who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart. Who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God, their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty. He is the King of glory. So, I feel there's there's two things the Lord was, ta was speaking to me in, in this vision. He was speaking to me about the, the doors of heaven being open to us, to those who seek him, who seek his face, and... Um, when he speaks about the doors, when he says that the doors are open, 
the doors of heaven are open. This is speaking about um, spiritual, like the, the spiritual power, empowerment, spiritual. Um, uh, I just lost the word of what I was trying to say. Um, help me, Lord. Speak, speak right now, Lord Jesus. Um, yeah, he, he was he was saying that the doors are open and that like we'll be able to access the heavens. We are able to access things in heaven. So the things that we pray about, like um, intercession and um, things like that, like we'll be able to be blessed. These things will be uh, the, we'll be able to receive answers because the, the, um, the heavens are open to us. So we are able to speak God's will into the earth and um and and God's glory and power um comes upon us because these these doors are open to us and also what he was saying was that we in, in a sense we are the doors we are these ancient these these gates these ancient doors that um Psalm 24 3 to 10 speaks about because we are God God uses us as his vessels and um when we surrender ourselves to be used by him he he uses us and and moves through us and and speaks through us so we are in a sense um doors on this earth and gates on this earth for him to to move through um so this this last uh dream i had um i was standing in the center i saw myself uh standing in the center of a small wooden stage and i was holding a scepter and I was tapping the um the bottom of the scepter on the floor like a judge does with a gavel. And I kept hearing, court is now in session. So I got a few different things from this. And I, I feel the spirit coming upon me right now. It's it's, it's crazy, it's kind of heavy. Um, but so I was standing in um well, yeah, I just read that. Sorry, I'm, I'm just so thrown off right now because the the holy spirit is like is heavy right now just i just praise you lord jesus i thank you lord god for just coming upon me right now let i pray that you just allow this this message to reach your your children your people lord god to empower them to move in your spirit to to worship you in spirit and truth lord god to just no, because you said that your people, your children die for lack of knowledge, Lord God. And we need this knowledge, Lord, in order to, to be able to move forward, to, to move in faith. Even though we we should move and we, we walk by faith and not by sight, Lord God. But we need your guidance and your leadership to know what your will is for our lives. That we can speak your will unto this earth. And, and and edify the church and lift up and build the church, Lord God. I pray that you just continue to speak to me and allow this message to reach the hearts and ears of those who, who need this message. Amen. Um, sorry, I just had to pray real quick. So so let's just talk about what a scepter is. Um a scepter uh is is um properly a staff or a rod. And it was used as a symbol of authority. Um, and it says uh, the use of the scepter originated in, um, in the idea that the ruler was a shepherd of his people. And uh, this is what I got from, I think it was uh, Bible.org or something like that. Um, and uh, it gave some scripture to go with this, which is, it said Genesis 49, 10, Numbers 24, 17. Psalms 45, 6, and Isaiah 14, 5. And then um, it goes on to say that this word, uh, speaking about scepter, originally meant a rod or staff. It was then sp specifically applied to the shepherd's crook, which this is exactly what I talked about in one of my recent videos about when I saw the vision of being given the shep that shepherd um the shepherd's uh, crook or uh the the, the uh, shepherd's staff 
and um, it gives uh, some more uh, scripture on this, which is Leviticus twenty-seven thirty-two, um, Micah and, and uh, Micah seven fourteen, and then it says, "And to the wand or the scepter of a ruler." So the Lord specifically gave me some um, some scripture on this, and. Um, he gave me Psalms 2 9, which says, You shall break them with a rod of iron, you shall dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. So, um, the scepter also represents is a sign of God's um, God's power, and that's why it talks about the rod of iron because this, this is God's authority and his power, and that's why he's going to. Why, why you shall dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. It speaks of, of God's powers, his might, and um, his, his authority, his sovereignty. Um, then Psalm 45, 6 says, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter or a righteous scepter. So a scepter is also a sign of God's kingdom. So... I'm going to bring all this together in a second. So then Daniel 7:18 says, "But the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever." And then Daniel 7:22 says, "Until the ancient of days came and pronounced judgment in favor of the holy people of the most high, and the time came when they possessed the kingdom." So if I put all this together, we put all this together, this dream or vision, God was speaking and telling me about how we are going to hold the scepter, which is we're going to have God's authority, we're going to rule in God's authority, and we're going to possess God's kingdom and rule in God's authority. So... And, and, you know, and his authority and power. So this is, this is very clear. It's very clear. This is what God is telling me. And this is not just for me. As I was saying in the last video, this is for all of us. We are all, the, it clearly says the saints, not some of the saints. The saints are going to possess the kingdom. We are going to have God's authority and power and rule in his kingdom. Like that is just amazing guys. That is amazing. I cannot wait until that day. Um. So. The Lord has just been blessing me. He's been blessing me. And allowing me to speak his word. And um, I'm, I'm very hopeful. And prayerful that he's been blessing you guys. Through these videos. Because that's what it's about. Just spreading God's his word, his gospel, raising up his kingdom and, and edifying my my brothers and sisters in uh God's kingdom. So I love you, God bless you, and I'll talk with you soon.